So unfortunately the unbeaten run has finally come to an end. Very, very disappointing result at the weekend, I must admit. Listening to the game, I felt that, you know, we should have got a point from the game. I thought very, very Leicester were very lucky to win the game. Um, they got two very lucky goals, but again, that's what they normally do. They normally get a some sort of luck, you know, to get their going their way. But unfortunately, you know, it is a defeat for us. And, um, you know, we've not said that for a while on this channel. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go to the game, that's for sure, because I'd been very, very disappointed. <sighs> right, well, let's see what we see how we get on on um, Sunday. But come and join me for this preview. And let's see where my thoughts are. Hey guys, how's it going? Ed Star here, back with another Operation Palace video for the 21-22 season. So yes, unfortunately it is over. The unbeaten run has finally come to an end. And if I'm honest with you, I'm not going to go mad. Like, I would normally, you know, you guys see me go mad quite a lot. I'm not going to tear into them because I can understand. They are starting to prepare for the semi-final. And we were expecting a defeat at some point, you know. Let's be honest with you. You know, it wasn't a great game for us, if I'm honest with you. Two goals were very preventable, though. That's what I will say. Klein, I don't know what he's doing. He's, allow he's allowing Lookman to turn him and get that shot away. I think that's Klein's fault. He should be doing a lot better there, and it wasn't good enough from him. Um, second goal, I'm not going to tear into Gay because he's been brilliant for us this season, but what the fuck is he doing? Just clear the fucking thing. You don't just, like, mistouch it and let another opposing player come anywhere near it. Uh, but Cheku as well, he's suspect for that second goal as well. He's allowing Dewsbury Hall to take the shot. You don't do that. That is why you don't do that. It's It wasn't good enough from him. If I'm honest with you, I felt it was a very disappointing game. We should have got at least a point out of the game. I felt we were very good enough for a, we were, I felt we were good enough to get at least a point. It's disappointing, you know, but I'm not going to dwell on it. It's, it's not the end of the world, you know. We're still 10th in the league. You know, this is where we want to be at the end of the season. You know, nobody would have predicted us to finish in the top 10. Everybody was predicting us to go down. So, you know, it's disappointing. It's very disappointing, but at the end of the day, we just have to move on from it. So, without further ado, let's get into my player ratings. Um, starting off in goal, um, Vincente Guaita. If I'm honest with you, I thought you should have saved. You should have saved the first one. If I'm honest with you, it's, it's almost straight at him. So, I get it's a well-taken shot. I understand that it's a well-taken shot, but Guaita should be saving that. You know, I'm not going to blame him for it, because Klein should have stopped Lookman from turning him. So, you know, second goal, I thought was a really good strike. But, again, questions maybe about his positioning for the shot. Um, I didn't think he had a good game, if I'm honest with you. I'm going to give um, Guaita a 4 out of 10. Um, next, I'm going to go into... I'm not actually going to do Tyrick Mitchell because unfortunately he got injured in the 34th minute. Uh, Ward came on for him and he was absolute shit, as, al as he always is. I appreciate he's done 300 appearances for the club, um, but he's, he, he's past it. You guys can quite clearly see he's not, he's not worth it anymore. Um, you know, so I'm not going to rate Tyrick Mitchell because unfortunately he did go off injured. So I'll just give him a standard 5. So... Next, let's go into Mark Gahey. Um, I felt very, very disappointed by him, if I'm honest with you. Um, I felt, for the second goal in particular, you don't you don't just misclick it like that. It's, it's really poor. Um, but I'm not going to tear into him for it. Otherwise, his performance was pretty solid other than that. Um, couldn't do anything about the goal. Um, but the second one in particular... You know, I thought he was really his positioning was rather poor. I'm going to give Gay here five out of ten. Next, I'm going to go into Joachim Manderson again. I don't think he was at fault for any of the two goals. Um, so he was all he was actually all right, if I'm honest with you. Um, but he still conceded two goals at the back, so you can't really say anything than that. I'm also going to give him a five out of ten. Next, I'm going to go into Nathaniel Klein, and if I'm honest with you. 
Sunday was the first sign I've seen vulnerabilities in him, if I'm honest with you. Um, if I'm honest with you, I just felt his performance was weak. Um, I could, you guys could, con you know, if you guys disagree with many of my opinions, make sure you let me know in the comments. But I felt he wasn't good personally. I thought he was way out of position for the first one. Like he's not, he's allowing Lookman to turn him and get a shot away. You just don't do that. You don't do that. It's, it's criminal defending from Klein. I uh, felt he wasn't good enough, and I'm going to give Klein a four. A, a fat, yeah, I will give Klein a four out of ten. I thought he was pretty poor. I'm going to start off with Cheku Kiate next. Um, for the second goal in particular, he's allowing Dewsbury Hall to take a shot. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why on earth would you allow him to take a shot? You just don't let anybody take a shot. It's just it's just pointless. Like you're shooting yourself in the foot. I think he was mark his, his marking of him was absolutely terrible, um, and I don't think he had a good game either. So I'm going to give um, Kuyate a four out of ten. I thought he was really really poor. Um, yeah. So yeah, a lot of the defence, in my opinion, weren't very good. weren't very good at all. Um, it's it's very concerning, you know. If we defend like that, you know, Chelsea coming up this weekend. You know, yeah, the damage, exactly what Vieira said, the damage was done in the first half. Um, so let's have a quick look as well. Um, who else have we got? We have got Jeffrey Schlupp. Again, I don't think he added anything to the game. I thought he was rather poor. Um, Going to give Schlupp a 4 out of, a four out of 10. I don't, just don't think he adds anything to the game, really. Um, Jordan Ayew, um, I think, was a bit dubious. The penalty decision I don't looking back on it when I first saw it I thought that's a penalty but when you look at it a bit slower it's it's not really a penalty is it he's he's making a bit of a meal of it if I'm honest with you very lucky to get the penalty decision if I'm honest with you I don't think it was a penalty um I will say that with my heart I don't think it was a penalty um but that's what he does he can win fouls when we least expect him to so you know for winning the penalty, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Next, I'm going to get into Wilf Zaha. Um, he missed two penalties. Do I not need to say any more? He actually missed two penalties, but he actually scored the rebound. So, for that, um, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. I thought he was okay. I don't think he was anything special, but I thought he was okay. Um, next, I'm going to go with Connor. He didn't really do that much, if I'm honest with you. He had a really poor game, in my opinion. I mean, people will probably say I'm being a bit harsh about the team, but I felt, you know, I thought it was a really poor afternoon from us. And I'm going to give Conor Gallagher a 5 out of 10. And then finally to, um, finally, um, John Philippe Mateta. He had, a he had a couple of really good chances in the game. If he took one of them, you know, we might have got something from the game. But I'm not going to tear into him. He's been really good for us these last couple of weeks. And I'm actually going to give Mateta a 6 out of 10 because he did try. He really did try. Um, but my man of the match actually was um, Everett Chiesa, who actually came on and he looked very threatening. He looked very threatening. I mean, he made a lot of. He tried to start a lot of attacks for us. And in fact, I think he was very impressive. I think he was the best of the lot. And I actually going to give Eze a 7 out of 10. I thought he was actually really good. Um, Ward came on, I thought he was terrible um, I'm going to give him a 4 and MacArthur came on as well you know, he just does what he does so I'm going to give him a standard 5 um, let me know your player ratings down below in the comments um, I'd like to see what you guys think of the players um, how, if you d agree or disagree with anything I say let me know in the comments as well if you guys have, have gone on to enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and I will be dropping the um, Chelsea um, semi-final preview, I'll probably be dropping that for, um, Saturday night, so if you guys are around for that, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and yeah, that's pretty much it from me, hopefully you have enjoyed the video, and um, I'll take, see you soon.